Back in time, when I made the first videos demonstrating the Visca support in the Skyhawk controllers, I promised one thing, that I would return to presets and how we organize presets in a way you have never seen before, and which makes use of the nice OLED displays you find on many of our controllers. And uh, now the day has come. I have set uh, my PDC Pro up with a Lumens VCA 50p camera. It could be any Visca camera, so this is really not specific for that camera. Uh, but this is what I, I had uh, on the configuration for this controller tonight. So uh, what are you going to do? Uh, anyway, I love that camera. It's, it's really good. It has Visca over IP. You can connect multiple controllers to it. So there's a lot of good things to say about the way the Lumens camera handles Visca control. So, uh, this is the PTC Pro controller, and uh, I have changed one thing on it uh, compared to what you have seen before. Namely, I have moved the camera selection into the select block up here. So, if we take a look at the controller from above, you see that those two buttons now indicate that um, I have two cameras on my network that I can address. Um, and since you see nothing in the other displays, it's because none of those cameras are currently selected. What I do now is I press camera 1, which is the Lumens camera I have just uh, next to me here. And then it will come up with uh, all the settings that I would like to adjust. Uh, I can um, walk through them with the menu here um, to address those. And uh, the, the, the other change I did was, apart from moving camera selection to this block, I have now preset selection in this block. Now take a close look. Um, actually, maybe we should uh, zoom a little bit so you can see it. Now you see these buttons are obviously assigned to presets. So camera 1 preset, camera 2 preset 2, uh, sorry, camera 1 preset 2, 3 and 4 and 5. Now, those labels are not very communicative. We could just as well have used the select block for presets if we knew that preset 5 uh, is what we want to recall. So, um, the helpful thing is when you look at the configuration interface, which we can uh, uh, start up for the controller. Okay, so the controller is on the network, and I have also connected it with USB to my laptop. So when I open the Skyhoy firmware update application and open the serial monitor, I can enable the web interface on the controller, uh, typing web config in the serial monitor. I will now copy this URL into a web browser, and then uh, I now access the web interface of the controller over here, okay? Maybe I just need to reload this. Yes, there we go. Okay, so here's the web interface. And let's just quickly see what I did to uh, the button P1. So P1 has been assigned to be Lumens Camera Select for Camera 1. And uh, the button P2 would then be for Camera 2. Okay, so that's kind of clear and obvious. On the other hand, I um, uh, likewise, I took this button for the presets. Let's just select two of these. And you can see I have assigned... Uh, the first one to recall preset number one on the camera selected in the memory called AA. And uh, the second button will recall preset number two. Now, the, the, the thing is, if you look at the option just after preset recall, I have selected that the label shown in the display should be um, preset times camera. Okay? So... <clears throat> what it means is that I have a section on this configuration page where I can type in the labels. Let's go to that section. It's all the way down in the bottom. It's the way I can select the number of rows that I want to use. So uh, let's say I want I have two cameras, so I select two rows. And I want to uh, name four presets on and all, like this. So <clears throat> the first preset, what would that be? That would be like a uh, total of the the concert scene right okay so left speaker uh drums uh host stuff like that okay so that was for the first camera then the second camera would have different presets or oh, maybe preset number one is generally the total but on uh the second camera i there would be different details because it's in a different position so maybe it's still the, the first one would be total then uh the next preset would be uh uh, close up on a um, uh, stage. Um, then we could have a uh, flower. Um, flower, yes. Um, I don't know. I'm just running out of ideas. Um, okay, so uh, guitar. I'm I'm obviously at a concert. So that's the four labels I'm now gonna put on my controller. So watch the controller as I now press the save button, and then you see 
the presets, as soon as this is saved, is instantly updated to tell me what are the names of the presets. Now, you can see that we are obviously limited to five characters if we have it configured for large presets. So, um, I would need to work with that, or I would need to enable an option we haven't created yet to have more detailed presets. But anyway, I think you get the idea. And guess what happens when I go to camera number two? We have the presets for camera number two. I think that's the, m the most cool way you can manage presets at all. I have never seen anything like it, because you don't want to have a long list with 99 uh, lines where you fill in what is the preset and then you have to look up in the list and press the right preset. No, you want dynamic labels on your controller. And here you have them on the PDC Pro from Skahoy, the, the probably the best Visca, universal Visca controller in the world. And that's even not all there is to say. We have the PDC Fly, we have the PDC Wish, we have all the controllers running Unisketch and uh, allowing you to uh, install the device course to communicate with IP-based Visca cameras. All of those controllers can be used to do the same thing. So, you could have a rack controller recall presets with labels like this. I think that's pretty awesome and exciting, and I'm sure you'll like it.